Welcome to Xinhua Live. I'm Emma Yuqi with Xinhua News Agency. The 2024 World Intelligence Expo is undergoing in northern China's Tianjin municipality. With an exhibition area of about 100,000 square meters, this expo will show you various themed exhibition areas, ranging from the intelligence, ex intelligence terminals like the robotics and the low attitude economy. So from this expo, you may have a glimpse of what the future is like. So let's go and explore it together. First, we will go to the low attitude economy expansion area. So the first low attitude economy may consist of some images of flying cars that may be seem like the fixed uh, fixed movies for some people. So China is actually moving so fast in this field because the country is edge in the EV technology. So next we will go to one low attitude economy company uh, to find out some of his latest technologies. So let's go together. Actually, I have invited a manager from this company to introduce all his products. Can you introduce your first? Hi, um, I'm Bao Yingzhen as the product manager at Yunshen Intelligence. Uh, so can you first introduce your company? Yeah, well, as a low altitude infrastructure and solution provider, Yunshen Intelligence actually has been established in Beijing since 2017 and we paired the concept of fully automatic airfields and we in independently um, create well fully autonomous inspector system that generates you know um, well that ge that generates mapping and the flight flight path autonomously. As you introduce, uh, we can see there is so many products. Can you introduce them one by one? Um, okay, uh, let me first introduce to you our Bao Liandeng. Well, the appearance of Bao Liandeng looks like uh, a lotus flower because we want to, ins uh, we want to integrate well, traditional Chinese culture um, into our products. So and why is it designed uh, like a lotus? And that's because we want to generate, uh, we want to integrate the Chinese traditional culture um, with um, our product. And then we can present a wonderful fusion of aesthetic design and cutting edge technology. Uh, can you introduce uh, how long will this drone be work? Um, well, well, you can see the drone, um, well, as our Xiaosheng, the Shen Pro, as the full autonomous drone, um, he actually can fly for th around 30 minutes and cover the six kilometer uh, patrol in one flight mission. So, uh, how will this uh, product be used in the city or in the rural area? Uh, well, actually, our product can can be used in various areas such as smart cities, forest uh, safety public safety, renewable energy, and so forth. And, and well, speaking of Xiaosheng, actually, well, as the fully automatic drone, um, well, she can, well, she can be like a city grid member, a forest ranger, or a power line inspector. So, um, well, in his daily task mission, um, if he finds any well anomalies are detected, then he can raise this an alarm, and this alert allows the command center users immediately in, in, find well find the abnormal situations and can take actions immediately to address the emergency. So wow, I can see that he she can do many things for us. 
Yeah, actually, um, after he returned his home, Bao Liandan, he can upload the data such as photos and videos and to the cloud. And our users in the command center actually can analyze and download necessary reports locally. And then it can, we can provide more efficient and effective way for our users to un un understand the space entire life cycle. Okay, I got it. So let's move on to the next product. So this red beauty is really special, I think that. Yeah. So the sheep. So where is the drone? Oh, actually, his name is Chan Pao. Mm. Is um, he is the representative duo drone um, in our product series. Uh, he actually um, has the industrial grade IP55. Actually, uh, these capabilities can enable um, the various weather conditions oh. that he can respond to. Mm, so I haven't seen the drone yet. Is uh, the drone is hidden on this equipment? Yeah, mm. and actually his call of internal electric protection region IP67. You have your company has combined so many Chinese cultures and the land stories and some historical stories into your products. Yeah. Uh, so let's move on to the last one. So this is kind of similar to the first one, right? It's the shape is also the lotus shape. Yeah. Cool. Actually, well, mm. the same features of Baolianden, but the appearance looks more compact. Based on that compact design, actually we can um, provide our industrial level users different types of, types of um, industry solutions, um, such as it can be swiftly and effectively, also easily to be deployed in cont context of smart cities, forests, this kind of uh, content. Mm. Okay, so that's maybe the, all of your introduction here. Okay, I will go to the another exhibition area from this expo. Okay, see you later. See you later. Thank, you. Thank you. Okay, let's go to the next part. Can you imagine a world where all the cars are connected by the internet? <laughs> next, we will go to an exhibition area. So in this area is an uh, internet of vehicles running area of Tianjin city district. Do you want to know more information about it? I will invite the manager of this area. Hello. Hello. Welcome to joining us. Can you introduce you first? Okay, my name is Zhang Hongyi and I will be introduced our leading area to you. Okay, we can start in this area. Okay. Um, our theme of this exhibition is Vehicle Connected New Quality Productivity Wisdom for Better New Life. And first is our three level testing service system, including a virtual test field, a closed test field, and open test road. A virtual test field is have the most comprehensive test scenarios, abundant test cases, and perfected test solutions in China with 3,500 scenario types and we have long pro no, we have long provided um, we have long provided testing services to 60 auto companies with 2.8 million uh, cumulative test cases and here comes to our smart shuttle buses this small shuttle buses is mainly for tourists and staff working in industrial parks um, near our stations. Our main station is Tianjin Source Railway Station, Tianhai High Technology Shooting Park, and our Vincent Yontai Industrial Park. Um, these shuttle buses have been put into operation in 2023 with L4 level advanced self driving capability running over 66,000 kilometers and serving over 12,000 trips. It has, it has become a new choice of national trip. After introduce this shuttle bus, we will next go to the robot taxi in front of us. So, how special is this robot taxi? 
this robo taxi is have a new innovative service um, scenario in plan and it's controlled by artificial intelligence and self-driving technology um, it can travel autonomously without drivers to destinations specified by um, specified with, by the passengers and how about this rap scene this is our driverless delivery vehicle. It's mainly for the last one mile delivery um, between stations to communities. Let's look at this. So can we put some package into this vehicle? Yes. Right. Mm. We can get packages from it mm -hmm. and you can just mm, put in the cord, mm -hmm. putting cord in the screen there and you can get a package this from it. Backside. Yes. Mm. It's already delivered more than 960,000 parcels, and during the 618 shopping festival, it played an important role of transportation supporting. After several years of construction, our vehicle road collaboration environment have been well developed. Um, this way, please. 3,654 roadside intelligence devices have been installed at our 408 key intersections and 9.4 kilometer key sections. That's, I have seen a really fancy car there. I'm really curious about the price of this fancy car. It's about 300,000 yuan, and its appearance and performance are all comparable to the um, fuel supercars market of more than 1 million yuan. And it can help people who love sports cars realize their dreams easily. Now, um, so thank you about your introduction here. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. And we are here. Welcome to people all over the world in Ch China, Tianjin City. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. I will go to another exhibition area. Okay. Okay. See you later. See you later. Goodbye. Mm. know that China's EV vehicles are really famous I, and I have encountered some motor bicycles in this expo which are really intelligent. Let's meet them. Hello, nice to meet, nice you. To meet you. Can you introduce you first? Okay, I'm Jesse. I'm the sales manager of European market in IMA. Okay, uh, so we can see that your products are really special. Can you introduce something about them? Okay, mm. uh, proudly I introduced uh, Q7. This product is developed especially for family users. Mm. Uh, so can you then introduce some uh, intelligence functions of these motorbikes? Okay, it has amazing storage space and cutting edge technology. It has got uh, all kinds of cool features like inductive unlock, 4G GPS box, that helps you find your vehicle. And four driving modes with a colorful screen dashboard. Uh, and okay, and I'm also curious that uh, how many countries have your products been selling to? Uh, I'm already export uh, more than 50 countries in the world. In 2015, we start our international journey from U Europe. We opened our first uh, uh, IMA store in Switzerland. Uh, and uh, we attend uh, CES and uh, Indonesia EV exhibition this year. And we will attend uh, ECMA exhibition to show our product line. Yeah. Okay, now I, am, um, I also know that this motor bicycle is uh, kind of popular in mm -hmm. the YouTube and the Facebook, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, correct. We registered our account on social media like uh, Facebook. Uh, Instagram and YouTube to communicate with our in the users, and we are looking for the powerful partner to distribute our country, our products in other countries. Okay, 
Okay, thank you, Mr. Zhang. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for introduction. Thank you, thank you for your interview. Okay, we will go to another part. Okay, thank you. Bye. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, I find an amazing aircraft here. Let's invite my German friend to introduce it for you. Hello. 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 I'm really glad to have you joining us. Can you introduce you and your company first? Of course. My name is Markus. Uh, I'm from Tensor. Tensor is a German-based uh, aircraft manufacturer for ultralight aircrafts, like this one, what you see here in the background. So can you introduce the specialties of this aircraft? Yes, sure. Um, it, our aircraft, as you see, looks like a helicopter, mm -hmm. but it's not a helicopter. Oh, really? No. Mm -hmm. It's a so-called autogyroplane, mm -hmm. which means that the rotor on top is not driven by an engine. It's free spinning. It's just driven by the wind speed. So, so how can you how? <laughs> So as soon you know a maple seed, a maple seed can fly just turning and just moving through the air. Mm -hmm. The same is, uh, concept is for an autogyro. So the air is moving through the rotor oh. and the rotor starts spinning by the airflow and creating lift. Oh, okay, I got it. Mm. So in meaning that, mm -hmm. that aircraft is continuously flying in a state without basically an engine on the rotor mm -hmm. uh, very safely. And it can be operated uh, very safely in low altitudes. Oh, okay. I want to know more about the inside part of this aircraft. Can you introduce it? Sure. Hmm. So what you see here, uh, the aircraft is equipped hmm. with modern avionics, glass cockpits. So this is the top-notch standard in the industry. Hmm. And it's a very clean and easy design. And the aircraft is basically also very easy to fly. Have you sold any of your aircraft to China yet? Not yet. The aircraft is brand new. So we started the uh, development and the engineering uh, back, to, it was back to uh, 2017, where we created a complete new rotor design, mm. which makes it possible to scale up the outer gyroplanes. And this is now the first model, um, the first time here in China and the first time here on the WIC to show the China, Chinese public our aircraft. Okay, we are really glad to have you in this expo. And how do you think of the China's low attitude economy? And this is exactly the point. That aircraft is a perfect fit for the low altitude airspace operations because it is a gyroplane. It can be operated very, very safely in very low altitudes and also we don't need a runway so the gyroplane can take off in 50 meters distance and can land within 15 meters one five meters so almost like a helicopter but flies uh, compared to a helicopter very safely in low altitudes so a perfect match for the new low uh, altitude airspace here in china Okay, so thank you. That's a really impressive introduction of your aircraft. Okay, uh, so now we have to go through all the special things of this expo. We are wrapping up today's, ex today's Xinhua Live. Thank you for watching and see you next time.